This video will show you how to set up your payroll in QuickBooks Online. Let's go over how to add your business information, add employees, set up payroll taxes, and connect your bank. We'll also show you how to make this easier by inviting your employees to add some of this info themselves. To start, go to Payroll and then Overview. Select Get Started and answer the questions to help us get everything set up for you. Tell QuickBooks if you have paid your employees this year. Select Next to continue. Select your next payday here, then select Next. Review your primary work location and update if needed. Enter the name, business phone number, and email address of your payroll contact. Next, select Start under Tell us about your team and then Add Employee. Add your employee's name, email address, QuickBooks will automatically email them an invite to QuickBooks Workforce, where they can view their pay stubs, T4s, and more. To save you some data entry, you can have your employees enter their personal, tax withholding, and bank account info themselves. They'll receive an invite to do this through QuickBooks Workforce. Now you're ready to add your employee info. You can start with any section. Since employee self-setup is on, you won't be able to edit personal info, tax withholding cards, and emergency contact. If you need to pay your employees right away or want to add the info yourself, turn off employee self-setup. You can turn it on or off at any time. Once your employee adds their info through QuickBooks Workforce, you'll be able to see it and make changes. Let's start with employment details. Select Edit. Add your employee's pay schedule and work location and hire date. All other fields are optional. For a pay schedule, tell us how often you pay this employee, when their next payday will be, and when the last day of that pay period will be. The payday is the day your employees get their checks or direct deposits. The pay period is the days you're paying your employee for. QuickBooks Payroll shows you the next four paydays and pay periods based on the info you entered so you can check that everything is correct. You can name this schedule, and if you want to use it for other employees, just check this box. If everything looks good, select Save. Next, you'll need to add a work location. The work location is the physical address where your employee works. You'll see the address you gave us when you added your business details. If your employee is based out of a different location, add a new location. When you're done, select Save. For pay types, tell us how much you pay your employee. You can choose from hourly salary or commission only. For this example, we'll set up an hourly rate. You can set up time off pay policies. You can also add other pay types like overtime or bonus, or pay types for other items like reimbursements or controlled tips. When you're done, select Save. If there's any change to the vacation policy, or you need to add a new one, you can enter it here. If your employee has any deductions like health insurance or retirement plans, add them by selecting Start on Deductions and Contributions. Select Add Deduction Contribution. Then select the relevant option from the drop-down under Deduction Contribution Type and fill in the other details in the subsequent fields that appear. Select Save. When you've finished adding all the deductions, select Done. Update the contact details of the person to be reached in case of emergency under the Emergency Contact. Repeat the same steps to add your other employees. Select Done to go back to Overview page. Now let's set up your payroll taxes. Select Start Next to enter your Tax Info tab if it hasn't been set up yet. Verify your company legal name and the address you use when filing tax forms. This is the info you used when you applied for a business number with the CRA. You may update it if needed. Select Next. In this section, enter your business number and your reference number. Then choose a form that you use to calculate and submit your payroll taxes to the CRA. Select how often you pay your taxes to the CRA. Once you've finished selecting the options, select Done. Your payroll taxes are now set up. In the Payroll Tax Center, you'll see what tax payments are due and when it's time to pay them. You can also record a payment from here. From here, you can view your tax liability report and tax payments you've made. 
you also have access to a variety of forms for you and your employees. Or if you need to change your tax setup, you can do it from here. You'll see this option if you have selected Yes when QuickBooks asked you if you have paid your employees this year. Select Start and enter all the required information. Once you're done, select Next. Repeat these steps for all your employees. To help you to get set up for electronic payroll tax payments and employee direct deposits, you can connect your bank from here. Select Start, then Get Started. Review the info about your business, your principal officer, and your bank account. Add whatever info is missing or update it if needed. When you're done, select Accept and Submit. Now you're ready to set up your own payroll in QuickBooks Online.